Twins are on the grid here, boys. Twins are on the grid. And it's been like two weeks since we've done a grid on this show. Oh, nice. So here's what we're we're looking for. You guys can see. There you go. A Twins player who was a White Sox, a Twins player who was a National or an Expo, and a Twins player with 40 or more wins above replacement in their career. I'll come back to that in a second. And then an Oriole who was a White Sox, Oriole who was a National, and an Oriole 40 wins above replacement. And then an A who was a White Sox, A who was a National, and an A who was a 40 war player or better. So just for context, a 40 war mark... Hall of Famers are generally 45 war or above. Now, not all players who are above that are Hall of Famers, but right. like Joe Maurer was like like a 50 war player somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. So we're looking for players that either played a really long time and accumulated a lot of wins by replacement or players that were really, really good perennial all-star caliber players or Hall of Famers So we're the war try- so we're trying to find guys that probably passed through those teams but weren't known to be on those teams. Well, yeah, nope. if we're going for rarity score, we, we're probably looking for the more obscure options. That's what we always do, right? Like, have, I yeah. mean, yep. so all like, about the rarity score. So, like, Nelson Cruz. Oh, by boy. the way, I just got an email from the Mariners because we used to live in Seattle and went to Mariners games. Nelson Cruz throwing out the opening day first pitch for the Mariners. Oh, nice. Nelly. Trader. Yeah, Nel- Nelly Cruz was... Nelly Cruz probably fits that category. Um, I mean, Joe Maurer, Jim Tomey, all the usual suspects, Harmon, Carew. And Bartolo? He pitched so long. Guaranteed. He pitched for 20 years. Yeah. Paul Molitor. Mm-hmm. So Bartolo? Like Bartolo, Nelson Cruz. I'm trying to think of like. I mean, Bartolo Colon's probably a good one because I don't think that's going to pop. Jack Morris lines. passed yep. through was, yep. was probably in there. Um, I mean,. Nelson Cruz, I'm trying to think of how rare that would be. He also would work for Birds 40 War because he played for yeah. Oh, Baltimore. Dave Winfield? Dave Winfield would work. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's try, let's, let's try Cruz for the Orioles one. Okay. That's a great one, actually. Okay. Nelly Cruz. Ro- actually, before you click that real quick, you know yeah. who else would be the same category? Sammy Sosa played for the Orioles. I think people might. Oh, hold on. Take that down. Is it what? Do we need a White Sox Orioles bin? Yep. Sammy Sosa would fit for that. Bin. Yep. Let's do, let's do Cruz for the Orioles 40 war and see what happens. Very. I'm, whoa. Yeah. All, sorry. I'm sorry. A lot sorry. going on with this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. grid. Okay. Go ahead. 1%. 1%. Right. Okay. Birds. Okay. Let's okay, so go. Sosa. You want to do Sosa for the, he started his career with the White Sox or the Rangers or he was with. I can't remember the Rangers. order, but he was with both those teams before he went to the Cubs. Yep, Rangers, and White then Sox, he Cubs, right? sadly finished his career with like Texas and Baltimore, just bouncing around. Mm-hmm. So Sosa, unless there's a more rare one that I think that's got to be pretty rare. Harold Baines is probably. I just the feel most. like he's. I just feel yeah. like he's too. I mean, if we can't figure out anyone, we can't. But I just feel like he's too top of mind, even though these are two random teams that people mm-hmm. know him. Oh, we can see. Let's see what happens. Nine percent. Yeah, you're right. Dex was yeah. right. Yeah, yeah that's mm. not bad. Hey, for for the Twins, White Sox, try this one. Eric with a C, Soderholm, nineteen seventies third baseman. Hated Roycey. <laughs> Hated Roycey. I was going to use is. Jesse Crane for that. Pedro Hernandez. He was the other guy yeah. with Eduardo Pedro Escobar in the Liriano trade. This guy should right. be. Let's do this guy. I don't think people remember him. 1% on Eric Soderholm. Okay, tw- let's do the Twins ones. Twin, well, Matthew LeCroy for Twin. LeCroy. So it could be a, a Nat Expos, or an though. Expo. Expos, you could go back to like Jeff Reardon. Reed. Jeff, Orla- Reed. Jeff Reed was part of the Reardon trade. A catcher. Orlando Cabrera. Yep. John Roush. John Roush. Yeah. One time twins closer, good. Jamie Carroll. Also, I think they were on the same Jamie team together. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of good choices here. I like the, Carroll. And the Rush. Expo stuff is great. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other old school expos. I got a. I have a great A Expo one. Oh, Charlie Lee, L E A, p- okay. pitched for the Expos and Twins as well. well. That sounds good to me. Yeah. Never Charlie, heard of that guy. L E A pitched. I think he pitched a no no for the. Uh, Charlie is I E I believe. Nope. I just saw him. 
Yep. You did see him? Yep. It's second one. Right there. Eight. Charlie Lee. Oh. This yep. guy. Second guy to Charlie Lee Brad. Point three. Point three. Look at that. Thanks. I was excited when you signed with the twins. Okay, back to the war one for twins. We said Dave Winfield. Mm-hmm. He passed through. Oh, Bartolo. David Ortiz passed through. Ortiz. Ortiz. Yeah, who's not who's not top of mind as a twin would be my yeah. Uh Steve Carlton. Ooh. Don Baylor? I don't oh. know if he was a 40. Steve war. Carlton's not top of mind for that. He I mean he Let's barely... do Steve Carlton. Steve Carlton's might be really good. Watch it be twelve percent. I don't think people remember him as a twin at all because he barely played here. No point, point eight. eight. Let's go. Good call. Okay, super random. Uh, I don't know why I remember this from the early 2000s, but an expo who was in Oakland A, FP Santangelo. Oh. Current that's gotta be it. That's got to be a broadcaster, right? Yep. I think he was F. removed dot from... San... FP yeah, Santangelo. He's the yeah, only FP. baseball player with an F dot on baseball <laughs> reference. So. Yeah, FP Santangelo. Point five. Let's go. So we're looking for a White Sox who was an A... Or an Oriole who was oh. a Nat Expo, and then there's a the A's go back to A's be good. Uh, the A's go, go back about 150 years. Like yep. Napoli Joy, we could do any of those old guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure he also went to Baltimore. I, I know he's with the Nationals. Uh, remember Tommy Malone? Oh yeah, Tommy would Definitely work. Remember Tommy? Did Tommy pitch for the White? I mean, he might work for the. He might even work for this one. He def, I knew he's an A, and he was a National. I'm pretty sure he was a Bird. Mm. The only like '90s obscure one that wasn't that I know was an Expo, and an Oriole is David Segui. but I don't know how. That's 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 a pretty prominent '90s baseball name, so I don't know what the Good percentage hitter. is. Good hitter. I believe you're right on Tommy Malone. Okay, Tommy. let's go Tommy Malone. Yeah, that's a that's not gonna be remembered. Tommy. Hey. Point two. Ooh, uh, point two. This and apparently he up. played for the Mariners, too, based on the hat that he's wearing. This is shaping up really well right now for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry about the Sammy Sosa one. I I guess That's I okay. thought that was more obscure on the Orioles. It's all right. We forgive you. He was one of my favorite players as a kid until I found out he was doing steroids and corking, and corking his, bat. his bat. Yeah, I still remember the game where his bat exploded. I think Jermaine Dye might be a little high for Sox. Jermaine, there's like, Pitchers? there's like an early two, Ray Durham, there's like a pipeline of... A's and uh, yep, White Sox right. players. Any pitchers? Like really? Yes. Billy Koch was a closer for both these teams. And if you remember during the movie That's Moneyball, pretty, That's pretty good. one of the players that Billy Bean plucked as an obscure like bullpen guy was the submarine Chad oh, Bradford. Chad Bradford. They plucked him from the White okay, He was a White Sox talking. pitcher for like three years. Bradford? So Chad Bradford would work here. There's no way it. Keith Folk was an early 90s closer for both these teams. Wow, you're just right now. You're just going through the I'm cooking right now. Point five. Oh, look at that creepy goatee on Chad Bradford. He didn't say he he wasn't creepy. He just said he pitched for both teams. Okay, so A's. There's a a million options for the A's. I mean, recently, Miguel Tejada. I'm assuming Jason Giambi. Frank Thomas. David Justice, Frank Thomas. If you want to go old school, we've I, used Nap Joy a lot. I think you go old school, don't don't you guys? And then Jimmy Fox was an old, I think Philadelphia A, yeah. but he was one of the legendary A's and Nap, players. Nap played for the Philadelphia. Did Dizzy too. Dean pitch for the A's or was Cardinals? He... I think he was Cardinals. Just Cardinals. Matt Holiday so, had that one random cup of coffee with the A's. He would he would have fit. Uh uh, speaking of cups of coffee, Johnny Damon spent a year Johnny Damon. in Oakland. He'd probably fit this. But I, I don't know. Nap, Nap Joy, we've used him before. One of the great like early 1900s yeah. players. Let's try to think of other. We, probably, we can just go Nap Joy. Finish this grid. Point 14. Four. 14. We're Four, back. And nine, uh, wow. And nine of it was me screwing you guys yeah, on the Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa because you loved him as a kid. <laughs> ah, okay. I that. I know. We should have gone. You know who we could have gone actually is uh, Steve Stone. We should have gone. Yep. For Oriole and White Sox. I was going to suggest that, but Albert then you were Bell. So that's another one. Sean Doolittle. That was. Oh yeah. Answer? Wow. 
Sean Doolittle. I think he does stuff on ESPN.com now. Look at that, though. Cruz, Cruz was the most popular. Yeah. Oh, national and Nat twin. twin. So, hey, nice work. 14% on so the grid. Lazy. It's a pretty good rarity score. So lazy. There's, there's some lazy stuff on that grid. Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson. Great player, but Reggie Jackson. Get out of here with that. Yeah, exactly. Mainstream you know, at least BS. Sal Bando, who probably wasn't a 40 war. <laughs> Hey, don't forget, click subscribe on the brand new Score North Twin Show YouTube channel. And starting next week, we'll deliver you full episodes of spring training overreactions of Immaculate Grids and random twins of the week. So thank you guys for hanging out with us here on the Score North Twin Show.